Ordered up stores, shuttered restaurants and empty office towers. COVID-19 has turned New York's famous business districts into ghost towns. Companies are now scrambling to come up with ways to entice workers to return post the pandemic. The question is, will the pandemic mean the end of office spaces as we know them? Here's a report. Only 14% of New York's more than 1 million office workers had returned to their desk by the middle of January 2021. New York office of Weldhoen Plus, too, had switched to remote working at the onset of the pandemic in March 2020. Eleven months later, Luke Camperman is the only one of eight employees to go back to the office in Wall Street, and that too, just once a week. One day a week, I come to the office, um, I can really put a few focus tasks in that I really want to get done. Um, I make my wife happy because she has the home alone and that totally makes sense for me as well. Um, so yeah, that, that's where I am at the moment. But the rest of the team, all other uh, seven, are working from home. A recent survey studied the impact of pandemic-induced work-from-home culture. 79% of all those polled say that working remotely had been a success a trend likely to be adopted in the post-pandemic world. I do think that we will see uh, a different type of uh, vibe and that people are only coming in two or three days a week and not five days a week. So it will have a massive impact on everything that's built around these offices and having all, you know, all these uh, uh, people um, going to shops and cafes, uh, etc. The report also found that offices are not about to be consigned to history. 87% of employees say that office was important to them for building relationships and collaborating with team members. Aspects of working life they felt was easier and more rewarding in person than over Zoom. A number of companies have been serving their people on their comfort with coming back to the office. The, the main population who are looking to return back are people who either live in the city where they can walk or cycle to work or younger people. There are some younger people that have never been in a physical workplace and they're really craving that or they live in a shared apartment. Experts say companies should transform their offices post-pandemic away from places where employees simply come to send emails or make phone calls which they can do at home towards more appealing spaces suited for mentoring, camaraderie and fostering creativity. What are then the activities that are happening in the office? Build an office that supports those activities and that will be way more collaborative activities and team activities than just purely individual you know, uh, rows of desks. While offering staff flexibility, several major employers are doubling down on their commitment to offices and betting big on New York's business districts. In August, Facebook signed a lease on a 730,000 square foot space in Midtown, while Google is continuing to expand its campus in Chelsea. Offices are here to stay, albeit in a different avatar. Your report, we on World is One.